All right, guys, so this is going to be a quick video on how to do a jump, in-game jump, in a uh, layered fashion. Yeah, so we're going to do this quickly. I'm going to use a simple object, a sphere, get the movement in right for the up and down on the hips, and then we can work from there. So this is going to be part one of that jump. So it's going to be quick. So we're going to try and do this as quick as we can. So basically, I've got a ball here, and I've already animated it. And if I go into side, side view... And this is how I want the jump to kind of the timing to be, right? You can pick any object you want, square. Some people have a shape of a torso. I normally use a, a shape, a simple shape, just to get an idea of what the timing would be. So this is the kind of anticipation going down. So it goes down and up and there's a bit of a hang time and then it comes down. And you can see my uh, curves here for, my, for the translate. So up, down, and then what I've done here to give it a bit more of an impact I've kind of broken the handle so it comes down and then lands. So that's what I that's the kind of movement I'm looking for. So so the first thing I do is I take that. So what I do, I grab all of this on frame zero, grab everything here, edit, copy. Now we're gonna have to scale this because the character is quite big, right? So here's the character. I've hidden the arms as you can see in the layers here. And what I'm doing, I'm just selecting the hips and I'm, I've put a keyframe on zero and I'm just pasting that same translation. Now, if you look here, so I'll put it down here so we have more space. So if you look at, if you look at it now, it's going to be very small. Yeah. There. So what you, what you do is you just basically come in here in fact, you can go here, let's go to the apex and then just have your cursor on the zero here and press scale. And then you can start scaling and you can be like, oh, how high do I want it? So you could even scale it more. But make sure your cursor here is here on zero. If it's here, it's going to scale the bottom, see? So wherever your cursor is, it'll scale from there. So you want to do that, right? Because we want the hips at zero where it is. So if you look now, there, yeah, we've got a nice little landing. So that kind of feels all right to me. So now what we can do, now that we've got that, we'll save, always save. And we can start playing around. Okay, so when it comes down, we know that's the anticipation pose. So I'll be like, okay, maybe a little bit of rotation would be good. Going down. Followed by a rotation here. So it's winding up, right? And then you've got these controls here for the neck, so we could use these. So it's kind of coming down. It's kind of getting ready, right? So it's getting ready. And these whiskers are dynamics, these teeth, so the saliva, sorry. So if, actually, you know what? Let me select, add it in a layer, call it saliva. 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 Give it a color. Let's hide that so it doesn't distract us, right? So we're getting that, we just want to get that movement in, right? So this is a more of a laid approach. So you're doing each thing at a time. So it's not quite overwhelming. So we know, sorry, so we know when the character comes down. Okay, we could make the head a bit more. And then when it comes up on the apex, so what I do, I select the root, because I know what I'm trying to do is I'm looking at the root keyframes. And the first one I put the anticipation, the second one is going to go higher, right? So I'm using those keyframes as a guide to each pose. And I don't want to put keyframes everywhere. So I'm going back to the root to where I copied those the bouncing ball animation. I'm just going to each frame. I'll be like, all right, 28 is the apex. So here, I want the character to be the opposite way, right? So to give it a bit of a contrast. So then we want to turn it the opposite way. Uh, select. Let's just do that on the mesh so I don't keep selecting the mess, mesh. Sorry. So we want the character to kind of 
be more out. Habit he could be even looking down like this because he wants to look down where he's jumping right so we've got that and then what you can do is if you select the hips you can see there so if we select everything now and not the mesh so we deselect that key everything we can come we can basically come back here to 16 and delete this because the apex is here and then we can be like okay we want it we want to hold that pose from 22 so if we go to 22 middle click that back to 15 so it's going to jump up and there's going to be a bit of a hold right hold like that and then what we can do we can make the head kind of come forward so it's got that twist and then this is this is just so we want the head to hold so we might be like okay let's go to 19 and middle click that back to 14 so we're getting a bit more of a hold coming in so you're getting that hold right and now what we want to do, we want to work through, we're keeping it simple. So then we're, working, we're going to work through coming down. So as it comes down, we know that there's, there may be a slight rotation in the hips. You know, going back. Because it's the force is coming down, so the gravity is pushing the head up, which is fine. And even here, we could be like, so you're getting that jump, jump, and then it's coming down. So as it comes down, let me get rid of this mesh. Where is this mesh? Put it in here. Just still, yeah, that's better. All right, so we, so what I'll do, what I tend to do is, on this frame, I'm just keying everything, but obviously, where the hips are, keyframe. That's what you're keying, and then as he lands, la so he la lands. So what we can do when he lands, I put I put a keyframe in here at forty, and what I'll do, I'll just move this out a bit. So there's a bit of space, just one frame. So we've got an extra keyframe. So as he comes down, he's going up, but the rest of the body is going down, right? So we could have that kind of whip that's happening. So right now we're just going to block it in. So there's a whip. So there's a whip, right? So when he jumps up, there's that whip. And then whip. And then there's a kind of recoil. So we'll go back up again. And then we will off offset this later to make it look and feel a lot more organic. But right now we're just trying to get a feel for the jump and the timing. And then we can just key all of this. And then it's... Ooh, boosh. Maybe this... We can delete this end one. Actually, keep that end one in. Delete this keyframe, and we'll just we'll just have a look. Oh, 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 oh! Hold on one minute. I've selected everything. Okay, let's hide this ball. The keyframe of the ball was coming in. Apologies for that. Ball. And we'll hide the ball. I was selecting the ball, so that's why. So, oh yeah, now that's better. Okay, so we got a push. And then, and you know what? I think this could, let's just go to 55 with everything selected. Middle click this, bring it back to 51 maybe. Or even more actually. Ooh, whoosh. Yeah, bush. Let's keep it on fours then, yeah? So as it comes down, 
I could even make it go down more and then okay that's, we don't need to worry about that and it comes down and that's all you're doing just recoiling and then afterwards we'll just we will oh that one sorry we'll offset it and polish it all right so we've got that so we've got that happening get go to the front yeah if we go to the front the first frame because that's the frame where he's landing we'll copy that Oh, okay, yeah, we can't. I'll get it. We'll have to match that later on. So it comes down, boing, boing, boing. So that's a bit hard. So let's make it a bit softer. So we'll just play with the timing. Bush. Even here. So we're just moving around. We're just playing with the timing now. So that's a bit abrupt, I still think. Yeah, that seems a bit better. Let me douche. Okay, so we've got a bit of a oh, bit of a movement going on there, yeah. Yeah, that feels a bit better, right? Okay. Okay, and then we can see Okay, so at the top if we look here we're just blocking this out so at the top. Well, we selected the neck controls and the head. So I'm just having a look here. So when he comes up, I just think there could be more movement like this. Even here, like more this way. Going up, going up. Even with the head here, maybe we have the head a bit. So it's got that bit of a delay. And I think as he comes up, I think this, this rotation, I think we can come to 28, delete this. And then maybe there here, so let's go back to the hips, 28, right? So I, ca I reckon around 32 we can bring that back to 28 and it will give yeah it just gives more that bit of a move in the torso isn't it and then as he comes down we could even rotate this torso a bit more Push. and then maybe just keep that a bit Yeah. Let's tone this. Now we can come back and kind of tone this down a little bit. Oh, delete that feed. Yeah, delete that bit. And now what we can do, now that we've got the basic timing, we can come back and be like, all right, now we can kind of delay let's try and move let's move the torso by one frame and then actually let's move this middle one this middle one let's move that by one frame and then let's move the torso by two frames one two and then we'll move the neck by three frames one two three 
and then let's move the second next one two three four and then the fourth one and then one two three four five so we're just offsetting them by a by a, a frame five frames right all right so there's a bit of a it works all right at the start right there's a bit of a let's have a look at this oh, there's a bit of a delay there all right at the top and definitely a delay there at the bottom so what we can do So we can start playing around with the upper torso now. So we can come here, move these keys back. Actually, why don't we do this? Undo that, select the top controls, and just generally move this back. One, two, three, four, four, three. Just playing around with the timing until it feels good. There, yeah? So that, so that. And then you could even play with the timing here. So you could select all of these and play with the timing here. You've already offset it, so you're just playing around. Okay, that feels a bit, maybe one more. So you're getting a little bit of a drag happening, right? Now, what the other thing you can do is, if you if you don't think that's working, the other thing you can do is go back to the let's check out the graph editor here so there's a bit of a hole there right so if we play with this bring it out Overshoot, we can overshoot this a bit. See how that is. Yeah, it's a bit more of a stretch there. It's a bit more organic there, right? And the same with the... The neck seems all right. I just feel these are a bit separate. So if we bring this back. So from here, I would say here, I would delete these. I would even say that this torso, if we delete this, Yeah, that feels a bit better, right? That feels a bit more organic. So then you have to just you have to just go back and start. Just start uh, deleting some keys here and there once you've offset to get a feel. And then you can always just if you think that the head is not working, you can select the head control, delete everything, and then go in straight ahead. So, but you've got the main basic poses down. So now you've got this working. And then we'll do the end poses later on in the, this is not going to be a four or five part series, but we'll go all the way to the polish with this layered system. There's so many ways of doing a jump, you know, but this is just one approach. We'll do some other ones as well. But that's basically like you've got the main gist of the jump in there all through the tennis ball, right? So the tennis ball, you start with here. And then you're just trying to, you're just working out an emotion. Uh, sorry, a motion that think you would roughly work with your timing. See, I thought that will work. So if you look now, I've kind of kept that the same. and just changed it a little bit. You can see that, right? So if I, if I, I don't know, scale this. Oh, sorry. If I scale this and let me uh, just delete all the other scales here. So if you look, it's similar, right? The, the, I know it's a bit bigger, but it's, it's kind of a similar timing. So that's just a st starting base point. And from there, you can go and start. Oh, let me just should delete that. 
then you can start refining your animation and then add in your overlaps, which you've added there, right? So then we'll start working the face and right. But we've got the main body working. And then later on, as we go, we'll refine it a bit more and get a bit more overlap, more believability in. But this is just a basic start to the jump. So there's a, there might be a few things off in the timing and all that, but this is what it's all about. Yeah, back and forth, offsetting and trying to get a good timing. Because once you get that core middle hip bit working good like this, smooth, you'll see with the arms and legs, you know, once you get that overlap, the principle of the overlap and drag all through the body, and the head, the rest is just a piece of case piece of cake sorry as you will see i'll show you okay so until the next video part two just have a little play around with this get a rig like this in a great rig i'll put a link in the description and just enjoy it just do a little do different timings of the jumps don't just do the one in this video do a quick one coming down or slow one heavy you know a light character with you know like we talked about the hang time video which i'll put in the description it might be a you know heavy heavy characters have less hang time you know medium characters have you know more hang time and light a very a lot of a hang time so play around with it as well find a character you feel like you're gonna have fun with you know it's good to do a variety you know so you can go you know you know the different weights uh for each character that you're going to be animating throughout your career right so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this quick little video on uh jumps we'll be doing more of the series keep an eye out i'm going to put more out this week and we'll go all the way to the finished article and how he goes from the end when he lands to the idle pose, right? Which is very important in video games. So this is part of the video game series I'm doing. So all right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy, get your steps in. Remember, health is your wealth. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.